If you're running your first Google Ads campaign, here are the seven things that you need to focus on. Right at the start, my first recommendation is, is that if you're running your very first Google Ads campaign, I would start with a search campaign. And if you're an e-commerce business, I would start with a collection of search and shopping campaigns. You wanna avoid all the other campaign types like Performance Max, Video, Display, all those other types of campaigns. And the reason for that is because your Google search campaigns is gonna give you the most data about your different keywords and your different ad copies that are gonna be the most successful for your business. And then once you know the best keywords and ad copies, you can then use them to build out to other types of campaigns. Also as well, with those other types of campaigns, especially your performance max and your display campaigns, you really need to have a clear idea of the type of audiences that convert for your business. Because with your search campaigns, you've got a lot more control over your search terms and a lot more control of your ad copies, whereas with Performance Max and Display, you don't have that same level of control. So that's why I would start with search. The other thing that I would say, especially if this is your first ever Google Ads campaign, your search campaigns is gonna be the best campaign to really give you a good grounding in how to see success with Google Ads. So the first thing is start with search. The second thing you need to remember if you are new to this whole world of Google Ads is that Google Ads takes time. Now, and this is one thing that a lot of people get confused about because when you start your Google Ads campaign, you press enable, you can see your ads start anywhere within a couple of hours through to the first 24 hours. So it's very immediate in that sense. But what people sometimes fail to understand is that for true success with Google Ads, it is a process of letting your campaign run collecting some data, reviewing that data, then making some optimizations, and then you have to see some more data, review the data, and then add in some extra optimizations. So throughout the life of a Google Ads campaign, it's an endless cycle of collecting data, reviewing data, making optimizations, and then you repeat the process, as I said, month after month, year after year. But what that does mean is that in the very first month of your Google Ads campaign, your real focus is just gonna be on adding in some extra negative keywords. You can't really go down and change your ad copies. You can't do anything around different audiences because you don't have any data yet. So as a really, really rough guide, now Google Ads will be different for all types of businesses and I've definitely seen the case where you start a Google Ads campaign and you're getting conversions you know, within that day or you know, even a couple of hours after launching your Google Ads campaign. But as a real guide, what you wanna be seeing in most cases in that first 30 days, you just wanna be seeing some different conversions. What will generally happen is you might see a couple of conversions at the start, so in the first two weeks. It's then very, very common that you may not see any conversions for a couple of days, even for a week, and then you'll start to see some more conversions. So in the first 30 days, the baseline is we just wanna see some conversions happening. Then at the end of the 30 days, you can review the data, make some optimizations. And then in that next bracket of 30 days, what we want to be doing is the goal is that you want to be breaking even. So for the amount of money that you're spending into Google Ads, you want to see that you're breaking even. And then from there, you review the next round of data, make some further optimizations. And then from day 60 through to day 90 is when you want to be starting to turn a profit in that your business is getting more leads and more sales. So your business is getting more money in than what you're spending in Google Ads. Now, it may not be at the optimal level that you want, but what you wanna be doing is you wanna be turning a profit. Because when we're at that level, that's when we can continue to review the data and make those optimizations so you can increase the levels of profit that Google is generating for your business. So secondly, remember that Google Ads does take time. Now for the third thing that you need to focus on when you're new to Google Ads is that you wanna have a very clear optimization strategy. And what I mean by that is that you wanna know every time you go into your Google Ads account, you wanna know what you need to be reviewing. As I mentioned before, especially in the first 30 days of a Google Ads campaign, all you're really gonna be focusing on is reviewing your search term audits and adding in extra negative keywords. You know, in those first couple of weeks, we're not gonna be messing around with your bidding strategies. You're not even really gonna be adding in some extra ad copies because we need to see that data. And that's why I put together my Google Ads optimization checklist, which is gonna be perfect for you because what it does is that it not only lists out all of the different optimization actions you need to complete, but it also lets you know whether you need to complete that action every 72 hours, every week, every month, or every 90 days. And if you wanna get access to my Google Ads optimization checklist, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. And now let's come to the number four thing that you need to focus on. And this is actually that you need to not or don't worry about your ad rank. Now inside the Google Ads dashboard, you'll see different pop-ups and different warnings. And one of the warnings that a lot of people get concerned about is the ad status warning. And 
when they go into their ad section of the Google Ads account, they'll see that you know their ad rank is poor. And I get a lot of questions. Some of the questions are about is that you know they've got an excellent ad rank, but then they're still not getting any clicks or conversions, or they may have a poor ad rank that it's converting, but then they're worried that 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 the Google is saying their ad is poor, and they're worried that that's going to be harming their performance of their account. What I need to stress with ad rank is that this is just a, a relative score that Google gives in order to help new people to make sure that their ad copies have keyword focus and they've got some different variations of ad copies so that the ad copy isn't all the same. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual results that we wanna see, which is your click-through ratios and your conversion rates. And I've seen time and time again, where you've got two ads running and one will have an average rank or a poor rank, another one will have an excellent rank. And when it comes to click-through ratio and conversion rates, the ad that which may have the average or poor ranking actually has a better click-through ratio and a better conversion rate. And then what you do see is as those ads run over time, Google will start showing the ad, even if it's got an average or poor rank, you're showing it more than the excellent ranked ad because ultimately what is important for Google is the click-through ratio and the conversion rates. Now, because this is such a big topic, if you stick around to the end of this video, I will show you how you can see some extra free training right here on YouTube about how to write high converting ads. And it also goes through the four different elements that you need in a successful ad copy. So make sure you stick around so you can see that extra training. But right now, let's move over to point five of what you need to focus on when you're new to Google Ads. And that is to not, once again, this is something that you don't do, and that is that you do not follow Google's recommendations about switching over to a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bid setting. Now, this recommendation will come in two forms. Firstly, it'll come through the Google Recommendations tab inside of the Google Ads dashboard. Or secondly, it'll actually come from a Google rep where they'll be recommending for you to switch over to a maximized conversions bidding strategy. Now, despite what the Google Ads dashboard and what your friendly Google rep is saying, I would not be changing your campaign to a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bidding setting until you've got these two core elements in play. And the first thing is, is that for the previous 30 days, so the previous month, you've been getting on average of at least one conversion a day. So there's a ballpark figure, you wanna be seeing 30 conversions over 30 days. Your second thing is that you don't want to be adding in a maximized conversions or maximized conversion value bidding setting when you're still seeing a high growth in your conversion metric. And what I mean by that is that last week you saw seven conversions, the next week you saw 15 conversions, the week after that you saw 25 conversions. And the reason for why you want to wait as long as possible is because when you switch over to a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value bidding strategy, you are going to see a high increase in your CPC. So your cost per click is going to be more expensive. So so what you want to make sure here is that you've got much conversion data as possible because what happens when you switch over to the maximized conversions or maximized conversion value, Google starts to look at not only the type of keywords, but the type of audience. It also looks at the time of day that your campaigns are converting. It also looks at the hour of the day that your audience is converting. So you want to make sure that you've got as much data as possible in your campaigns before you make that switch. Now we're on to number six, and this has got to do with your conversions as well. And what I wanna say here is you need to remember about your acquisition window. So what I mean by that is that in Google Ads, someone might click on your ad today, but they may not convert for another 10, 14, or 21 days. So if they click today and they don't convert until 21 days from now, does that mean that that click that you paid for today is wasted? No, it doesn't. But I see a lot of people who get really, really worried and they go, you know, over the last seven days, we've had 250 clicks and no conversions. But that picture can look very, very different if you hold and wait for another two or three weeks because you can see those conversions come through. Now, if you've got a mature campaign, you may know that your acquisition window is 10 days or 14 days, so you can be a lot more relaxed about it. But at the start of this process, you may not know how long your acquisition window is. So it's really, really important to not just look at the data over the last seven days, to look at longer snippets of data. Now, obviously for a new campaign that don't have been going for seven days, you can only look back at the last seven days. And that's why I said, remember at the start of the video to really think Think about those first 90 days, the first 30 days, you just wanna see some conversions. The next 30 to 60 days, you wanna see you start to break even, and then it's only in that day from day 60 to day 90 that you really wanna to start to see some profit coming through. So if you haven't seen any conversions in your account for the last week, don't stress out, especially if this is a new campaign. And the last important one, we come to number seven, is to not only focus on your Google Ads campaigns. For a successful Google Ads campaign, you need three things happening. You don't only need a successful Google Ads campaign, 
You also need a high converting landing page and you need to make sure that your pricing and your policies are set correctly. So if you're not seeing any success with Google Ads, please make sure that you're not just throwing away Google Ads straight away. Really go back and have a look at your landing pages to make sure that they are set correctly so that you can actually see those conversions. And what I'm gonna do right now, if you wanna see more data about the important things that you need for a high converting landing page from Google Ads, and what I wanna stress right here is that this video I'm about to give you access to comes from over 10,000 different real life user tests. So if you wanna see what makes a high converting Google Ads landing page, go through and watch this video right here. And as I said earlier in the video, if you wanna learn more about how to create high converting Google Ads ad copy, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy. It's been great having you here and I look forward to seeing you in one of these two videos right now. See ya.